life architect, uh, again, uh, I believe that uh, what we had to understand that is the first time uh, that we start to have for La Fonica what we call uh, a master plan. And uh, it is uh, just a starting point. Uh, that means that if you want to have in the future from uh, the European community or also from Greece, uh, uh, again, eventually opportunity to have uh, uh, some money they could receive uh, in La Fonisos. We need to start with uh, something. And it is a way to, to start a new way of uh, having in the future a La Fonis could have not only uh, what we are doing now, a new house or new piece or something else, but in a more what is attractive and a more, uh, what could say, the uh, strategic way. Uh, now we have uh, uh, the second part of our afternoon. We have, uh, yes, uh, two friend architects. Uh, and uh, uh, I met uh, David by chance uh, because I saw an article from him uh, in the French newspaper. And uh, I saw that uh, he has, uh, he work uh, in France, uh, but uh, he's in love with Greece. Uh, and uh, he built the house uh, very ecological inside uh, the Phoenicus uh, area. And I think it is good to have some example on uh, how uh, we could do something differently in a, a Natura 2000 area, because also Phoenicus is a Natura 2000 area. And uh, talking with uh, David, he said, but I have a, a very good friend that is uh, Theo, and he said that David is uh, a very quite big uh, architect uh, structure. And it is good to have uh, also uh, from him some idea how we could build in ecological way and uh, in, uh, again, uh, not only in New York or in uh, Tel Aviv or in uh, du Dubai, but also in some island, some place. And I think that there is something that uh, Theo did it in an island in the Ionian Sea. Uh, it's good to have their uh, point of view and also being the first time in La Fonisos, uh, what could be their contribution uh, in order to have for our symposium some new idea. I leave now, we have uh, no more Greek translation, we are directed to English because we read the tape and we streamline uh, all this uh, one. The objective is uh, step number two, I know that they need to leave uh, tomorrow, but uh, David will stay uh, a couple of days more. I believe it is a good idea it is to rethink what you have presented, what was presented. If there are some practical idea that could be applied. David, the floor is yours. <laughs> uh, good afternoon. Uh, thank you. First of all, thank you, uh, Enrico, and uh, all the people here to uh, invite us. Um, as you started to say, it's the first time that I come to uh, Elaphonisos, to the island. Uh, I was uh, familiar with the, some parts of the country in Greece uh, before. Uh, I used to come almost once a year. And um, what I wanted to show to today is a series of projects, all uh, having in common the, the Mediterranean area. Um, could you... So I entitled uh, my presentation Mediterranean Ecosystems. Uh, as uh, when I started a new project, I always try to understand where I am working, in which uh, culture, uh, in which uh, part of the world, and uh, trying also to uh, make a project really part of the, the land, part of the location. So this is why I call the project uh, Ecosystems. Next, please. Uh, the first project uh, I wanted to show today is a, a project that I initiated in Tel Aviv. So we are in the Mediterranean area. Uh, what you can see on the screen is uh, the skyline of the city uh, along the, the sea, along the beach. Um, you see uh, a modernist city from the early 20th century with the new high rises. Um, next, please. 
from that project, which is uh, still under uh, under discussion with the municipality um, authorities. Uh, I made a whole uh, research on the the city, the, the history of the city, and the, how could we build uh, a new skyscraper, taking it into account the history of the the city, but also the history of the country related to uh, agriculture and uh, building on the sand. Next, uh, so that book covers uh, many different topics including the idea of uh, the Israeli um, concept of a uh, kibbutz. A kibbutz is a, um, an agricultural settlement where um, at the beginning uh, there, was, uh, there was no water sometimes. There was uh, no uh, um, um, basics to uh, provide uh, living in sort of a community. So everything in the uh, kibbutz was uh, um, meant to be uh, collective, to be shared. It's a sort of a micro uh, community, micro city, all uh, uh, dedicated to uh, growing plants, farming, uh, to, to live in, in a sort of a, a autonomy. Next, please. Uh, so uh, I talked already about the the, the heritage, uh, the architectural heritage from the 1920s and 1930s. Um, many uh, architects moved from uh, Eastern Europe to uh, what was called Palestine, and then become uh, became uh, Israel, uh, bringing their uh, um, uh, architecture from uh, Germany from. E and from uh, Eastern Europe. So you find a lot of uh, Art Deco and uh, Bauhaus uh, uh, mid-rise constructions. So this, uh, this part of the, of the old uh, Tel Aviv was uh, one of the influences for, for my project of high rise. Next. Uh, you can see uh, high rises uh, that were designed a bit later in the 60s, uh, already taking into account these uh, uh, Bauhaus or Art Deco uh, uh, influences. Uh, making this book uh, while living in the, the city of Tel Aviv, uh, uh, I collected some historical documents, uh, pictures, uh, archives, and I, I also met some uh, uh, living uh, architects. Uh, who developed uh, concepts of high rise a bit similar to my idea of the high rise. Uh, so I was lucky enough to uh, to meet them in person and to share uh, these uh, ideas I had about uh, uh, designing a sort of a vertical kibbutz. Next. Um, I'm uh, talking now more a bit, uh, a bit more uh, about the, the kibbutz. So I found these uh, uh, early pictures of uh, one uh, um, settlement called uh, Moshav. A Moshav is a bit like a kibbutz. It's also uh, um, dedicated to uh, farming and to to live in a, a sort of a community. You can find in. A, a kibbutz or a moshav, uh, schools, uh, supermarket, uh, people have their own house. Uh, sometimes the kids, they, their own uh, neighborhood. Um, next, please. Uh, these are all the pictures that I found that were taken during the 1930s or a bit earlier uh, in kibbutz. And you see all the different activities that are I wanted to implement in my uh, high-rise project. Uh, next, please. So uh, again, this picture uh, a bit later of the the moshav, which which uh, you can see the layout is a, a sort of a ellipse. So uh, you have uh, several ellipses. Um, 
where in the the radiance you see all the fields, the uh, agriculture, the, the farms, and uh, at the center you will find uh, um, shared uh, activities, collective buildings. Um, next, please. Uh, this is a zoom on the the this bird view on the the kibbutz, where you can see the it's a sort of sun uh, layout. Um, everything is radial, uh, radiant. Next, please. Uh, so uh, the main uh, interest for uh, this project was to uh, to really understand. Uh, how Israelis developed those uh, agricultural settlements and to see how uh, nowadays we, we could uh, imagine a, a vertical uh, kibbutz. Uh, in the project uh, of the of this high-rise, uh, I need also to implement... Can you hear me well? Yeah. Um, Um, there are uh, several uh, activities in the high rise. Uh, there is also a, a garage which is vertical. Um, it's automated and it's uh, also a charging sta station for the, the city of Tel Aviv. So you would park uh, your car um, in the, the high rise and the, you are able to charge it. We, we can find that. Uh, uh, shared system in many uh, European cities now. Uh, cars are not anymore uh, individual uh, vi vehicles, but they are shared and proposed by the munis municipalities. Uh, next, please. So uh, at the beginning of this project, uh, and this is what I show also in, in the book, uh, I started uh, um, sketching and sort of uh, synthesizing most of the ideas uh, through uh, these uh, first, first uh, sketches. Next, please. I also work uh, making uh, physical models. These are uh, to uh, first visualize my ideas. Uh, I don't always uh, start with the computer, uh, uh, modeling or drawing. It's uh, mostly uh, by hands at the beginning. And uh, slowly, the, the project uh, gets uh, resolution or definition. Uh, and uh, through the digital modeling, the, the computer, we can now uh, uh, also relate the, the CAD uh, drawing with the construction. And this is what I'm going to talk a bit uh, later. Um, Next, please. So uh, here at the end of the book, I show a sort of a 3D section with uh, all the, the activities that are uh, in the project. Next, please. And uh, to end with the, the final uh, uh, pictures of the project, uh, this is a sort of a, a synthesis of uh, all the research uh, I've made uh, during uh, two years uh, while working and living in Tel Aviv. Next. Next, please. Uh, these are interior uh, pictures showing uh, uh, how the, the vertical and automated garage uh, looks like. Next, please. The, the project, uh, Grand Mediterranean, that's the, the name of the project, is located in the, the center of the city. And it's also uh, on, uh, located on a historical uh, piazza. And this, uh, this public space was remodeled together with the, the new project. Next. Um, you saw uh, maybe the, my first sketches and the first physical models. This is uh, called a topology. Uh, by deforming, distorting uh, 
slabs uh, made of concrete. And by uh, combining two uh, different slabs, this is the kind of space you, you obtain. Plans uh, showing uh, typical uh, activities uh, on a circular layout. Next. From that project uh, uh, showing uh, collective activities as the vertical garage, uh, the apartments, uh, other shared uh, programs, I wanted to uh, develop um, again the, the garage part of the, the high rise by, by proposing just the garage to uh, the city of Paris. Next. Uh, together with the, the architecture, I also designed a, a vehicle. This vehicle is uh, autonomous. It's uh, charged when uh, parked in the, in the building. And uh, it's based on uh, this uh, electrical uh, golf cart, you probably all know, and uh, uh, shared uh, taxis you, you find in the Middle East. So uh, I just um, uh, kept the, the first part of the project to propose it to uh, other cities uh, like Paris. What you can see uh, on that picture is the, the garage is surrounded by a, a garden. This garden is uh, public, is, is uh, pedestrian, and people will never uh, enter um, in contact with the cars. They, they are really separated. Uh, the next project I wanted to show is a, a house uh, designed in the, the south of uh, France. So when I first uh, discovered the, the land, uh, I did a sort of a uh, travel by uh, airplane and by car because the, the land is quite remote. Um, by uh, traveling, uh, while traveling, I was... Uh, taking pictures, uh, writing, and uh, sketching. So this is a sort of a uh, summary of the, the journey I did to first visit the land. Next, please. Um, the house would be uh, facing the, the sea. Uh, and the, the first idea we, we had with the clients is to uh, uh, keep the, the house quite uh, uh, secret hidden uh, and to uh, um, collect as possible the rain waters uh, to give the, the house the possibility to be uh, autonomous. Uh, they have a, a beautiful car and they wanted to, uh, to have a, a look at their car most of the time. So uh, uh, the car remains outside. Next, please. Uh, but we uh, we used uh, the roof as the main um, manifesto for this project. So uh, from here, when you arrive, this is what you see from the house. Um, the house is made of uh, is built with concrete, and we use also uh, other uh, materials such as uh, ceramics to um, to cover the house. Uh, to insulate uh, thermically and uh, acoustically uh, the house. Everything here uh, was designed with the computer and made by um, rapid manufacturing. Um, so this is what the clients and the guests would see when they arrived to the house. Next. And this is the main entrance. So uh, the way we are uh, trying to be uh, uh, to respect uh, the land and the local uh, features of the land is to uh, integrate uh, existing uh, rocks, for instance, inside the design. Uh, so the rocks you see uh, on the left part of the the house uh, was there, and we we kept it in between. Uh, uh, the exteriors and the interiors of the project. Um, so we maximize uh, with this um, 
this uh, large roof, um, the views on the ocean, that the, the, the windows are fully openable also. So uh, from the living room, uh, here we are on the, the terrace. Uh, we are looking to the, the kitchen and we see uh, the, the car behind the, um, the kitchen. Next, please. So by uh, designing on the computer, uh, by uh, modeling uh, with the digital tools, we are able to uh, uh, control uh, most of the aspects of the design, but also of the, the construction. Next, please. Next. Uh, here are uh, some plans uh, showing the, the context and the, the house. Next. So uh, you see a lot of, a lot of topography. Uh, this was uh, quite hard to uh, uh, keep uh, in the same uh, state. This is why we we worked with this uh, uh, large uh, roof and we almost didn't modify the, the existing nature or topography. This is the ground floor. So once you uh, enter the, the house, you see a lot of uh, uh, different uh, steps or levels. Um, next. And the bedroom uh, floor is uh, troglodyte, so it's uh, digged into the rock. Next. On the section on, on the top of the drawing, you see that the level of the roof is uh, at the same level of the main road. So these are some uh, diagrams showing the a relationship between the, the car silhouette and the large opening uh, on the kitchen. Uh, this is a, a series of diagrams showing how we um, deform the, the roof. First to give uh, an access to the roof, that is uh, with the stairs, and also uh, to uh, deform the roof to collect rainwaters. So the, the roof becomes a sort of mirror by uh, having uh, water on it. Next, please. Uh, these are diagrams showing the way we, we are able to uh, walk freely uh, through the house, uh, the way we organize the, the main functions in the house, and the way we uh, located the, um, the functions according to the, the sun run. Uh, and the last project I wanted to show is the one uh, Enrico uh, and, uh, and Chantal discovered uh, in the press. It's a house in Greece, it's uh, in the Peloponnese. It's a very small house. Uh, next, please. Uh, it was maybe too fast. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so the, this section shows, uh, again, the relation between the, the house, but also the landscape and the, the topography. Um, it's a 40 square meters uh, house, so it's really, really small. And we wanted to have a sort of a, uh, to show uh, what we like to do, what we like to design, and uh, how we env envision um, a house that it could be uh, always there. Um, the, the natural light comes uh, from the roof, but it's not a uh, direct uh, light. It's uh, indirect. Uh, there is a small uh, pond. It's not really a swimming pool. It's a, there is water that is coming from the roof. It's collected from the roof. It's the, the rain waters. So uh, this water uh, helps refresh uh, the terrace. But it's, it also, uh, it's also used for the bathroom, for the toilets. 
so we recycle and we upcycle the water as much as possible. We also use the, the water uh, from a cistern um, and uh, we irrigate the land, um, the plants uh, with this, uh, this water. Um, this uh, project, as the, the previous that I've shown, are uh, quite complex in terms of uh, geometry. And this is why we uh, use uh, mostly the, the computer modeling. Um, next, please. Uh, this is a diagram showing uh, where the water is uh, stored and where it goes. So it goes to the uh, first on the roof. And then uh, you have some um, uh, path that uh, guide the, the water on the roof and from the roof to the, the terrace and to the plants. Uh, these are the local materials that we used, or local references from the, the islands in Greece that we wanted for the interiors of the house. A plan showing uh, that the roof is quite small, but uh, the landscape we designed is uh, enlarging a bit the our impression to to live in. A, maybe the the house is small, but it looks uh, bigger when when you are there. So these uh, these are the two bedrooms, the bathroom, and the a sort of a small uh, living room with a kitchen. This is uh, all you can find in, in, in the house. Next. Next, please. We can spread uh, the pictures now. You, you can continue. Uh, Thank you. Uh, the last one. This project or anything was realized already? Uh, Cosmos, the last one is uh, is built. It's done. Okay. Uh, the first one, the tower in Tel Aviv, it's a self-initiated proposal and it's still uh, under discussion. Uh, the house in France is uh, ongoing, but uh, I don't know when it's going to be built. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't believe that we need uh, the sky rocks in uh, El Afonis, but uh, the idea I need to have uh, you here is to, to show that uh, we could do something uh, in a quite innovative uh, way. I believe that I took three or four notes. I believe the use of concrete uh, is interesting, what you are saying. The fact to have uh, shared cars, uh, it is another point that could be, again, uh, done not only in a sky rock, but only in other places. And I like the uh, reason that you said, uh, upcycle, recycle the water. I mean that uh, uh, I believe that uh, the water it is something that uh, today we have a lot of water, tomorrow a little bit less. In the future, what could be a problem? So the fact to have something that could be, uh, again, upside the recycling and use it, uh, it is something that could be a very good uh, idea. To fact to work with computer model, it is a new way of uh, working and you can do something that without the computer is very difficult uh, to do it. And I believe that to, to, to have a use a local product uh, in a place, it is a way that uh, you will again show that uh, the locally there is a lot of things that sometimes you don't use it. You take from one side when you have something in a uh, house. So it is the reason why that uh, I ask David to give us this uh, presentation. This is quite, uh, again, outside the normal way uh, that we handle uh, a symposium, but I believe that it is always something new, something that could 
give us opportunity to think about. So you give us, uh, you send uh, the stone in the lake, uh, and we hope that to make some waves around. Okay, thanks a lot.